Ford Pro has recently launched a new all-electric commercial vehicle, known as the e-Transit Courier. This innovative vehicle is designed to cater to the needs of compact van customers, delivering enhanced connectivity and productivity. The e-Transit Courier is the latest addition to Ford Pro's lineup of electrified and connected cargo vans, and it comes fully integrated with Ford Pro's platform of software and connected services to boost efficiency. The e-Transit Courier is powered by a 100-kilowatt front-mounted electric motor, drawing power from a yet-to-be-detailed battery pack. With a DC fast charger capable of adding 54 miles of range in 10 minutes, the vehicle's charging capability is impressive. However, Ford anticipates that most charging will take place at home via a wall charger, where the battery can be fully replenished in 5.7 hours using an 11 kilowatt AC domestic charger. One of the vehicle's remarkable features is its in-vehicle touchscreen, allowing the user to schedule charging sessions and take advantage of cheaper overnight energy prices. Additionally, one year of complimentary access to the Blue Oval Charge Network, featuring around 500,000 public chargers by 2024, is included. While the battery capacity, driving range, and energy consumption remain undisclosed by Ford, they promise to publish more details closer to the vehicle's sales debut. The Ford Transit Courier will initially be available with a range of gasoline and diesel engines in 2023, with the all-electric e-Transit Courier expected to launch in 2024, the small commercial vehicle is available in both van and double cab and van body styles. In summary, the e-Transit Courier is a highly efficient and environmentally friendly vehicle designed for compact van customers. With its fully integrated software and connected services, the vehicle is sure to enhance productivity and efficiency. With more details set to be released by Ford, we can expect to hear more about the e-Transit Courier's capabilities and features as its sales debut approaches. You can also find the full press release in the description below.